I'm Mike Adam. I'm Jim Shear. This is Gimme Five, and each week we pick a category, we give you our top five, whether it be good, bad, mediocre, uh, and then we hope that you weigh in at home. And this week we have the greatest emo bands of all time. Yeah. I created parameters like I usually do. I know, I know. For myself. I think of emo as the music that broke kind of big time in the early 2000s. Yeah. I first heard the term emo in the 90s. I thought of it more as a, sub, a sub-genre of college rock. Okay. Uh, so my list will be uh, will consist solely of those bands that broke in the 2000s. So no Mineral, no Promise Ring, no Rites of Spring. I apologize. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Eat World, I think of them more as a, a really good rock band. They're not on the yeah. list. My Chemical Romance, I think of them as a punk band. They're not on the list. So here goes. At number five, Saves a Day. Just a consistently good band, and I love that Chris Conley never fell into that emo pitfall of doing the sing-songy, whiny verse into the Cookie Monster chorus. <laughs> Sounds something like this. And you know that I always, you know that I always love you. Yeah, so none of that from Saves the Day. At number four, Thursday. Okay. And when I first heard Thursday, they reminded me of those emo groups that I heard in the 90s, but they brought something else to the table. And I remember listening to Thursday songs, and I thought, wow, this could be mainstream one day. Which leads me into number three, Brand New. And I think their album, Deja and Tendu, was the gold standard of the emo era. And that's when I thought to myself, yeah, emo could be here to stay. Yeah. At number two, Taking Back Sunday. And I thought for sure that Taking Back Sunday, they were going to be the Pearl Jam of emo. I saw them playing arenas for years and years and years. I thought their third album really brought them to a new level, but that came out in 2006, and at that point in time, the whole industry changed. Yeah. We yeah. were getting our music on the computer. Yep. MTV wasn't playing nearly as many videos as they did before. Yeah. So uh, if Taking Back Sunday came out 10 years prior to that, maybe they would have been the Pearl Jam of the emo movement. And the number one emo band of all time, band that's doing all right, Fall Out Boy. Yes. They started out very emo, and album after album, they started to grow. They started to incorporate pop sounds into their music. They were filtering out that emo stuff that just wasn't relevant anymore. Right. And now, they sound like Def Leppard of the 2000s. And I love it. There you go. <laughs> The greatest emo bands of all time, in my opinion. Mike, you know, what do you think? When, when I was thinking about this category, I realized something that I don't really like emo bands. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, at the number five spot, I'm going to go with Panic at the Disco. But you like these bands, right? I, to a degree. To okay. A degree. He's being honest. He's you know, being honest. I might have one of their albums or just one of their singles. Okay. But uh, number five, Panic at the Disco. Uh, I like their sound. I thought it was uh, refreshing. I thought they were Fall Out Boy when I first heard them. Um, which brings me to number four, which is Fall Out Fall Boy. Fall Boy. Uh, they, I actually do like a lot. I think Patrick Stump, his voice is so new, mm -hmm. unique and, and just amazing. And uh, the way they've been able to adapt and kind of change, you know, people were counting them out years ago and they've uh, evolved from this emo band to this pop monster mm -hmm. act that sells out arenas. Um, at the number three spot, Paramore. Uh, I don't like them now. I like them earlier on. Now you don't I like them now? I think they're just a. What was that one song they had last year? Ain't it fun? Ain't it fun? Eh. They're like fun. Maroon Five. Like they've just retired their instruments. They're in a closet somewhere collecting dust. And I don't know. <laughs> uh, at the number two spot, Jimmy Eat World. Jimmy World. Yeah. You know, I'm not like a avid listener of them. I know all the the singles, and I just thought they were always a, a great, consistent band. And for the emo movement, they were at the forefront. Um, and at the number one spot, I actually really, really, really like this band, My Chemical Romance. Which really, is funny. You really like them because they're not emo. I know. <laughs> I don't know if you call them punk, emo, but um, The Black Parade's one of the, the greatest uh, albums I've ever purchased. I mean, it's a, a play 
on your CD mm -hmm. or iPod or whatever. And, uh, you know, I had the chance to actually see them live. And contrary to what some people say, they're really great live. Who said that? A lot of people. Yeah. I've heard of, yeah. They're, they're awesome live. So. Or I should say they were awesome live. <laughs> but did you see what we just did there? What? We complimented each other. We did. I wanted to include Jimmy World and My Chemical Romance on my list. I didn't. You did. And that was very emo of us. <laughs> it all comes together here on Gimme 5. So for Mike Adam, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Yens later. <laughs> Me? The bet? Or you? You. Me. Me. You. All right.